Hi and welcome to Painting in the Shed. Sorry it's been a little while since I've done a video. Um, this one's going to be slightly different as well um, because I've been busy doing lots of different things. It's been great. Um, I went to Wales and painted with Broken Walls. Broken Walls are a band. Uh, here's their website brokenwalls.com. They're based in Canada and the band members Jonathan, Bill and Chris are from different parts of North America. They express a father heart of creator God through their First Nations people style of music and dance. Facebook page so please find it and like it and follow them. To, um, to Belfast, uh, Northern Ireland, and uh, with uh, Rima Restoration Ministries. And here's a little bit of what happened when I went there. So this is the Rima Restoration Ministries Facebook page. Uh, it's headed up by Pastor Rose and Pastor Kevin. They're the ones uh, from Belfast that uh, have been organising all these workshops. So please go and like that page and you'll be updated with when I do the next workshop. So this is me going to Belfast. So this is a workshop. Uh, in the morning we did a step by step and you could choose between a line and a, uh, a landscape scene. So my friend Chris who helped me out and made some new friends as well. Uh, great students. And then in the afternoon we did a prophetic picture for each other. So you, you just have to pray and ask God for a picture and then give it to someone who's great. I've been asking Jim to carry on making videos um, and responses to paintings. Um, obviously I haven't been able to send him a lot of things lately. Uh, so this is this is Jim Pooley, the guy who did the music for these videos. Let's just have a little word from him. Yes, mate. I'm just sorting it now. Yeah, I know you haven't finished the picture, but to be honest, mate, it doesn't really matter anyway. Well, we can just Photoshop the picture into it. it it'll be fine. No one will notice. Yeah, but I'll just delve into my reservoir of drivel. I mean, like you know, I'll just say anything. It'll be fine. Yeah, but yeah, but if they're looking for some sort of uh, proper art critique, then they're in the wrong place, mate. Look, let me. Yeah, okay. I'll just I'll do it. Yeah, and we'll talk to you a bit later. Right then, bye. <laughs> Hello, this is Jim taking another look at one of Ollie's paintings. Uh, it's been a long while since I've been truly blown away by one of Ollie's paintings. Uh, the wait continues. But moving on to the picture that we're looking at today. Uh, not exactly sure where to start with this. Um, interesting uh, choice of uh, colours that he's chosen. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's happening in this corner here. Um, so yeah, you know, on to the next one I suppose. Uh, hopefully we'll have something else for us to review very soon. Thanks Jim. You know what Jim, I was in Ireland and this, uh, yeah, and uh, I come across some people I'd never met before and this is the video response I got which I thought you might enjoy Jim. I'm just recording anyway so you can say what you want whenever you want. Uh, yeah. Don't tell Ollie, but you are the favourite bit of the videos. Don't tell him, but we actually we actually did fast forward the, the ahead of painting stuff so that we could get to the end bit of just here at the music because we were roaring with laughter at the lion. The lion was the best yeah. by far. Loved it, Jim. Awesome. And you're a catch. <laughs> so, it's like Jim's got a bit of a fan base going on there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I have done this painting here, and I am going to show you a little bit about how I painted that uh, the eyes on this on this baby portrait that I've just done and um, Pete who commissioned me uh, is going to drop by to pick it up 
So I'm gonna, uh, he's gonna come in here and pick up the painting so we'll see what he, have to, uh, what he has to say about it. All right, so this is me painting the baby's face. Um, to sort of show you a little bit of the, how delicate it is doing a baby's face, it's really hard, it's a lot more harder than doing an adult's face, because with an adult you've got lots of lines and harsh shadows and things, uh, but with a baby it's very soft, it's so subtle. Um, it's uh, every little mark you make will change the look of the baby. You know, here I'm using um, burnt umber and a bit of ultramarine blue. Um, the skin is sort of yellow ochre, white, and a little bit of crimson. Um, and then you start adding on these shadows and shades. And it's just so delicate. Use your finger here just to smudge it back in again. That's the beauty of oil paints is you can just keep uh, softening it and softening it all the time. Uh, here I'm just using a little bit of uh, a little bit more uh, burnt umber and. Uh, but an ultramarine blue just to get the dark there above the eyes. The whites of the eyes are not actually white in most cases. I mean, the photograph I was copying from, the eyes were a little bit in shade, so the whites of the eyes are not actually white, which is uh, it's hardly ever that they're bright white, so we should put a little bit of colour on the eyes. Um, again, just blending in the shadows here above the eyes. Um, it was really hard not to make the baby look like it had makeup on or anything like that. You know, you have to be so subtle with the baby. That's that's why it's such a challenge, and that's why I focused this little video here on the eyes. Um, and here I'm putting in the blue. The photograph didn't actually have blue eyes, but uh, I was told by Pete that the baby had blue eyes, so I uh, put in the blue here. And that's what you do is you put in the blue bit first, and you can you can add more detail to that if you want to, more colours. Um, but this is just basically to show you how I did it. Um, I think I went back out at the end and sort of did a little bit more to the eyes, but this is roughly what it is. This is again uh, burnt, um, uh, burnt umber and ultramarine blue to get that black colour. I never really use black, um, I just use this mix. Um, it's quite hard to paint this with the camera right in the way. I was trying to see beyond the camera <laughs> what I was actually painting, but just using a small brush here and quite a lot of paint thinners with the mix, and the paint's quite thin. It's a good uh, technique to, to use. So then you do a little dart around the edge of the eyes, I'm not really giving really the technical names, but and then a little dot of white where the light reflects on the eyes. Now this is a difficult part because I think I went back and did this a few times because it depends on where you put the white bit is whether the eyes look cross-eyed or not. Anyway, that's the uh, finished painting. Hope you like it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, this is Pete and this is Josiah. Hi. Yeah, and this is your, your painting. There we go. <gasps> wow! Do you think of that? Who's that? Wow! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's How that. beautiful yeah. is that? Huh? <laughs> Did you like that? I think she does. I think yeah. she does. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah she got the same hat on too. See, see, what there? see, we've just her up. It looks just like her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Turn around. So, so, how do you find out about my work, anyway? Um. Well. Yes. Um. Your name uh, came before actually the work that I saw, so I heard your name back around. And then um, we were at a wedding at Christmas, and um, at that wedding at Christmas, bizarrely, there was this guy in the corner um, kind of working away on a canvas. Oh, and, yeah. Um, and I was so impressed with that man um, and the canvas that that was the result that. Um, I decided who better to paint the first oh. oil painting of our beautiful daughter who I dote over than Mr. Pengeli. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah thank cool. you very much. It's all good. And um, good. I think you're happy, aren't you? Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, met some amazing people and uh, it's been a really good few weeks. Um, people often ask me, how many paintings do you do? You know, do you do it full time? But it is full time for me. And just to give you an example, in the last three months, these are the paintings I've done. When I say these are the paintings I've done in three months, I've actually done a lot more than this, but for various reasons I can't show all the paintings I've done because I don't photograph everything I do, uh, which I should do, but um, I did quite a lot more than this. Um, these are just a selection of the ones I did manage to photograph. Uh, yeah, it can't be available as prints, a lot of them, because I just use my phone to photograph them, and that's not really good enough quality to print them, but. Uh, Thought you'd enjoy, enjoy just seeing them anyway. See, uh, I do paint a lot. I paint all the time. Uh, please commission me if you want to commission uh, a painting uh, like this, a portrait of someone or something, or you, you like some of the pictures I've done. Please contact me on here or on Facebook or on my website, olivepengeli.co.uk. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>